G'day guys, hope you're all doing well out there. Uh, today I wanted to make a video basically covering the pedal board that I use for these YouTube videos and YouTube demos and my practice pedal board. So this is the pedal board in question. It is on a Eno pedal board. Uh, it's the smallest Eno pedal board they do, which is also the cheapest they do probably. And it's the same size as the smallest pedal train one, which I think is the pedal train Nano. So I'm going to flip the camera over so we can take a closer look at what we've got on this pedal board. Then we're going to hear uh, some sounds and do some demos on each pedal, how I use them and why they're on the pedal board. So here is our lovely demo pedal board. So the first thing we're going to do is actually going to flip it over so we can see the mess underneath. So basically what we have is a Tom's line rechargeable power supply um, so that's got two outputs for pedals and then that's the charging cable going in there it's also got a flashlight if you need that for some reason and a usb output so you can charge your phone as well but i just daisy chain off this pedal board speaking of daisy hello daisy i just daisy chain off this power supply to supply the five pedals on the other side i also have uh, which is normally cable tied to this little uh, cable guide thingy. I have a, that's the USB charger to charge up the power supply. And I have a spare nine volt power supply cable. So if I am demoing a, another pedal, I can use this pedal board alongside it, see how that pedal interacts with the pedals on this board. Uh, it's also handy if I just want another board like a wah or something that's never gonna fit on a board this size. So that's the underside and the portable charger, uh, sorry, portable uh, pedal power supply. I guess it's a portable charger as well with the USB. It lasts about 10 hours on a single charge. I used to have a Boss MS3 as well as like four or five other pedals running off this and it would still last like three or four hours and the MS3 takes up a lot of energy. So it's a pretty good rechargeable power supply. Right, but let's have a look at this side because that's what everyone is interested in. So we start with the Hotone Boost Tuner, which is sitting above my little thingy of guitar picks. I don't know what you call these, but they're very handy. Uh, the Boost Tuner is a tuner with a volume on it. So if you have it at zero, it mutes your signal. Uh, what you can hear in the background is my, are my dogs playing. Uh, sounds like they're fighting, but they play like that a lot. If you turn it up to about three to four, it's at unity gain. And then anything above that is actually a clean boost, which comes in handy for a variety of scenarios, which I will explain very shortly, but very handy tuner, very versatile, funnily enough for a tuner. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Then we have a fuzz pedal. Now, you might have seen this in another video of mine on a super cheap pedal board that I did for, I think it was under 150. Um, basically, it's a handmade pedal kit just by some guy local to me. I bought this off Marketplace from him for dirt cheap. I think it was about $20. It's a fantastic fuzz pedal. I think it's based on a very early tone bender circuit or maybe a fuzz face, I'm not too sure. Maybe comment in the comment section below what you think it might be based on when you hear it. It's a great fuzz pedal, really simple. Looks really cool, I think. Does the job of a very vintage spitty fuzz, which I love. Then we move on to the Snouse Electric Company Black Box Overdrive 2. This is the Pro Mod version, so it's got all the fancy switches and the extra presence and preamp control. Very versatile drive pedal. I've got this little graph that I wrote out to help me remember what the switches do because there's so many of them. So you can do a OD or clean boost, which is great. The mod or classic mode uh, either turns the preamp and presence control on or off. The other side, bright and smooth, deep and tight, are basically tone shaping controls. When both these switches are down, it goes into a mid boost mode. Uh, which, especially in the clean boost mode, goes very tube screamery, which is very cool. Otherwise, it's a fantastic transparent overdrive, low to medium gain. I don't need anything high gain on this board. If you're going to get one, you've got to hop on a waiting list uh, because they're in pretty high demand. That's if you want to get one brand new. So I was on the waiting list for a while. 
I would recommend choosing the Pro Mod so you get all the options, all the switches, all the options. And if you don't want all the switches and all the options, I would still get it anyway, because if you flick it into, I think it's classic mode, then it's just the volume, tone and gain like a normal black box, right? So you might as well get all the switches and you've got a crazy amount of sounds. It's fantastic. This DJE Swiss Army pedal is actually a Behringer multi effects pedal that was rehoused by a great pedal company called uh, Kaguya Effects. I can never pronounce their name. I'll put a link to their Instagram or I'll show their Instagram on the page right now. They're based in New South Wales in Australia and he's rehoused a few pedals for me actually which is fantastic he does a really awesome job i wanted this in a tougher enclosure because it's got all the modulation i would ever need including delay which is nice so it's got a pog sound so octave sound that's not very good to be honest the trem though is great the delay is really cool uh what else have we got we've got a flanger which sounds good, the chorus and the phaser. So they all sound good provided you keep the speed control fairly low. The trem is actually pretty cool to put the speed control up. And the delay is pretty cool as well. It's just a crisp, clean digital delay. And if you set it right, you get a nice faux reverb sound. Now, I never usually do that because either I'm doing demos with this pedal board at home in which case I'm using an amp that has reverb in it, or I can add reverb in post. And the only other situation I would ever use this pedal board is at a jam night, in which case the room's probably big enough where I don't need to worry about not having reverb. Uh, but it's nice to have that feature there. But other than that, it's a great pedal. Just gotta learn how to use it and probably keep the speed down on a lot of these modes up the top. The POG is also pretty bad just being honest, but it fills a gap on my pedal board uh, that covers a lot of ground, which is great because there's not a lot of room on this board. Then we finish with the new X loop core. It's got drums built into it. It's got tap tempo. You can change the volume of your different tracks. Really great feature packed looper. Uh, somewhat affordable as well. I've had this one for ages and ages and that's great for practicing. So I'm going to set up a camera on this pedal board and we're going to go through some of the sounds together. We will be going into a clean Fender style amp, maybe with a bit of breakup on it, and I'll be using my uh, kit build telly that I often use in my demos. Okay, so here is our demo pedal board nicely displayed on camera. We're gonna go super quickly through it and we're only gonna go through the sounds that I actually use for these YouTube demos. So here's our clean sound. We're gonna skip over the tuner, we'll come back to that and we're gonna go straight to the fuzz. So as you can hear, sorry, it uh, doesn't clean up fantastically. It kind of does that very thin spitty fuzz when it cleans up, which some people like. I don't really use it for that purpose very often, but it's there if you need it. Let's move on to the black box overdrive. So I have it set for the tone and presence controls to be active uh, in its overdrive mode and the smooth setting is on as well as the uh, tight, no, not the tight, the uh, big low end boost. So let's hear how that sounds. <laughs>
So really great mid gain overdrive. Not often do I need more gain than that. I think that sounds fantastic as it is. But if I do need extra gain, I'll put the volume to 10 on the tuner, which means it's acting as a clean boost. We'll kick that on. <laughs> And there's that fantastic sound if you need it. So that's the black box. So far, the two drive kind of distortion pedals I've got on here, I love a lot. Mixed with the clean boost, I don't see how I would need anything else for YouTube demos. So over to the DJE Swiss Army pedal. So I've got it set to a nice chorus at the moment. <laughs> So it's a pretty fast rotary sounding chorus. That's what I mean when you've got to keep the speed pretty low. Anything higher than that, it's just ridiculous. And you can see the speed's already fairly low. If we kick on a bit of drive. Kind of does that uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan thing pretty well. Oop, wrong pedal. But if we switch it to the delay, and let's oop, let's crank the speed and the depth up. There we go. I think we're on the tremolo setting, but this is the delay setting now. So you've got a really nice straightforward delay. Uh, this pedal is doesn't have the most inspiring sounds in it, but it's a good Swiss Army knife of guitar pedals, which is why it's called the Swiss Army pedal. Covers all the sounds I need for demos, basically. So that's why it's on there. Doesn't do anything fantastic or special, but covers the ground I need. We're not gonna demo the looper, because we all know what a looper does. So that pretty much brings me to the end of the demo. We skipped over a few sounds there, like we didn't cover the snouse doing the tube screamer sound. We didn't cover uh, a lot of the other modulation settings on the Swiss Army pedal. I just wanted to cover a few basic sounds so you get an idea of what I'm using for these YouTube demos. So that's pretty much it for my YouTube demo slash practice pedal board. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the sounds that I get from it. Whenever you're wondering what pedals I'm using in a YouTube demo, just revisit this video. I don't think it's gonna change from this. It covers all the ground that I need it to cover. So I'm happy with it. I hope it works well for demos as well. So with that, we'll wrap up this video here. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.